each month, I ask you to submit the best items that you found from all across Sanctuary. And this month, you guys didn't disappoint. From perfectly rolled, extremely rare uniques, to a pair of boots that sold for 132,000 forum gold, or more jaw runes than is easily comprehensible by the human mind. This episode might undoubtedly be the GOAT, so it should come as no surprise that our friends at GOAT Games chose to sponsor this trophy room video. From the creators of War and Magic comes a very one-of-a-kind game, and that is Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. Bloodline is a card-based RPG with insane fantasy-style graphics. Choose among orcs, werewolves, demons, and dragonborn. Collect any of these champions and customize them by marrying companions. You and your companion work intimately to spawn new champions with even deadlier and more refined abilities. It's like making little demon babies that, that grow up and kick everyone's ass. You can spawn unique combinations of powerful abilities that not only suit your gameplay, but also dominate the arena. My favorite group of companions are Fulgur, House of the Demigods, a rather progressive bunch, really. You can switch genders of your companions here freely to your heart's desire. There's no judgment here, not from me and not from those demigods. Bloodline is free to play on Android or iOS. Just check the link in the description or use the QR code on screen. Type this promo code to obtain one champion token, 100,000 gold, and 100 diamonds to start you off on the right foot. Meet your true companions and create legendary heirs in this epic one-of-a-kind fantasy RPG. And now, let's check out some of these trophies. This time we're breaking this list into groups of value. At the beginning of each segment, I will tell you what the approximate worth of the items that we're looking at are in both forum gold and bear runes. Bear runes are currently going for between 450 to 500 forum gold, so we're gonna take it in terms of that. Let's start with the first group of items that ranges between five and 10K forum gold or 10 to 20 bear runes. Heavy Muppet found this extremely rare unique item, a perfect ethereal rune master Etten axe. While there's not a huge demand for an item like this, it does does gain most of its value on its rarity, and especially after what Heavy Muppet did to it. He put a Zod, two low runes, and two 4015 jewels in this. It is something really cool to look at, and if you've ever sought after a trophy version of one of these, well, this is probably what it would look like in the end. Next up is this cool phase blade from Evanders. While most melee duelers would probably be looking for an ethereal version of this, and some melee rule sets actually ban proccing amp damage, this is actually cool for a lot of other reasons. Just imagine an item like this on a very unique niche character such as an uber zealot. And because of its uniqueness and rarity, it could easily fetch between 10 and 20 bear runes or between 5 and 10k forum gold. Fax submitted the helm that he uses for his low level dueling level 30 barbarian. You might notice something really insane about this helm right here. It actually doesn't have any skills that spawned on it. And even still, this helm can actually fetch a lot. It's an artisan's assault helmet, so it's got style points for the look, three open sockets, and a perfect roll on life. He's put three jewels in here that give him some combination of enhanced damage, strength, dexterity, and it looks like cold resistance. Back in LOD, these things could spawn with whirlwind on them, but that is not possible in D2R. So while it would be good to have some skills on this as well, they're not really necessary. Let's breeze through the next section here. This is the 10 to 30K forum gold section or between 20 and 75 bear runes. Fi submitted these poison boots right here that he actually sold for 13,000 forum gold. A lot of times we don't see boots on this list as much. They really need to be extremely special to stand out, and this pair is a perfect example of that. These are probably some of the best things you can have against poison builds in PvP because of that huge boost to poison resist and the PLR. Alpha Sin submitted these insane Whirl Girl claws. As you can see, the actual damage from the claws is not very high. Still some really cool plus five trap claws here though with the Fool's Mod and some serious IAS. Fax also submitted what I would consider one of the best low-level dueling jewels I've ever seen. For the level requirement, this is a perfect roll on enhanced damage, a perfect roll on strength and dexterity. And while lightning damage isn't necessarily the most desirable fourth mod here, jewels have sold for a lot with just those first three. Wilson Combat found this five NATO helm on ladder. Not only is it plus five NATO, but it's got the faster hit recovery, plus one to volcano for some junk trickery and PVP, along with PLR life and two open sockets. Very nice find. 
Wilson submitted this six point ring and it's probably one of the best rings for casters that we've seen for PVP. 10% cast, 40 life, a near perfect roll on mana and the two most important resistances in PVP. Plus it's got replenish life to boot. A very nice six point ring. On the topic of rings, Wilson Combat also submitted this nice caster ring with a boost to strength, 60 to life and a near perfect roll on mana. Treaty submitted the long sought after 640 jabs to this list. While ladder has been out for almost a year now, these things are still extremely hard to find. These are still fetching for 30,000 or even sometimes more forum gold. Bic finally getting on this list and showing off some of his insane gear in PVP. He submitted this 219 druid amulet with a near perfect roll on life and all resistance is plus 10. Just about everything that your typical druid is looking for in PVP right there all wrapped up into one amulet. Big Dane says I heard that barbs are on the menu now and submitted this 220 barb amulet. A perfect roll to all resistances at plus 20. It does have this plus 19 roll to dexterity but I'll tell you something interesting about those two stats being on some items in PvP. Usually an item with dexterity is stashed away and a dueler will go and pull that when they need to increase their block percentage. In those situations, it's very rare that you would need resistances as well. Though the situations do come up, they're not typically the most complementary attributes on either an amulet or say a diadem. But for the sheer fact that this amulet can be used for both of those things makes it pretty insane. On that same note, LSD submitted this nice barbarian tiara. 23022 open sockets and it does have that interesting dexterity and all resistances role here as well. Bic also showed off his necro amulet for PvP. This is 220 as it needs to be with a lot of necro setups. A near perfect roll to life and 14 to all resistances. The most sought after base shield for a paladin is the sacred targe. Gecko Suave submitted this perfectly rolled base. 1515 with all resistances plus 45. Someone will spend a lot of time trying to roll this into the next trophy item. Loop Soul submitted this perfectly rolled Spirit Sacred Targe. This is perfect in every way. It's 15% enhanced defense on the base, 35 cast, 112 to mana, and 8 magic absorb. Believe it or not, for a perfect roll on this common rune word that exists on a perfect sought after base, these can actually fetch quite a bit of forum gold. Pat Algorithm submitted some more melee weapons in the Discord, and this is a great example of the things that can exist in its very basic form on one of these weapons and make it insanely valuable. This fang knife sold for 30,000 forum gold because of the cruel and master's roll for enhanced damage. The fact that it spawned ethereal and has the repairs mod on it. Also got a nice little bit of attack rating there to boot. Next, we're gonna move on to the 30,000 plus category. The top end of this range is probably just under 100K. That's between 75 and 200 bear runes. So we're getting into the big guns. As we know by now, if you've seen any of these lists, finding a rare jewel with four perfectly spawned mods that are actually desirable makes a jewel worth a lot. Yeo submitted this jewel with 7% faster hit recovery, 30 ED, 10 to min damage, and 9 dexterity. Absolutely perfect for most melee builds. Yeo also submitted this sorceress amulet, 220 with 107 to mana. Some might find it hard to believe that an amulet exists up in this part of the pricing, but this actually sold for 40,000 forum gold. Ferdia showed off these insane MLD jabs here. Not only are these things cool in mid-level dueling, but also some high-level duelers could get some use out of these. These actually sold for 2,250 euros which is basically like $2 million US these days. Pat Algorithm also showing us some insane armor for melee duels. Melee duels are very interesting. Most of the time you'll see two players just stand toe to toe, click on each other and see who dies first. Believe it or not, there's a large community that seeks out items that are specifically tailored towards that type of dueling. This is an E-Rep Shadow Plate with a near perfect roll on enhanced defense. He put two 4015 jewels in this. Whatever melee character is wearing this, your opponent is gonna have a rough time getting through that 2,451 defense when they're swinging at you in the blood more. Trap claws are still fetching quite a profit on non-ladder. Sieve H3HZ submitted these claws. These are best used on the offhand, but they are plus six to lightning century and plus three to mind blast. This item makes the list with a caveat because you're gonna have to take this thing to Larzuk to socket it. If this gets two sockets from Larzuk, you can count that as a win. This item could easily fetch above 50,000 forum gold if that's the case. Next up, 
up, we're gonna look at the 100K forum gold or more section. This is basically items that were submitted that are worth 200 or more bear runes. And we'll start up with the king of them all. This item was brought to our attention in the Discord, and this is a legitimate sale on D2JSP. Very highly rolled tri-res boots with dexterity, hit recovery, and faster run walk. These things right here sold for at least 132,000 forum gold. This helm was submitted by Amir, arguably the best necro helm we've seen. This helm doesn't have faster run walk on it, but there's only a couple of matchups where that particular attribute matters. For a lot of different matchups out there in the blood more, these are some of the best stats you can possibly find on a headpiece for a necro. Helms like this or even lesser than this have fetched 100,000 or more forum gold. Draven submitted this druid helm along those same lines. Lesser helms than this have actually gone for over 100,000 forum gold. This is a 23020 druid helm with a base roll to life and two open sockets. It's crazy to think how much all of those attributes that are important there actually matter. I mean, it's to the point where an item like this can sell for 100k forum gold or more and still technically have a wasted attribute there in enhanced defense. Truly lets you know how rare some of these items actually are. This time, I also want to give a shout out and honorable mention to some people who submitted some really cool items but it's really hard to quantify exactly what they're worth. Ron Burgundy submitted this sweet Amazon amulet. Look at this thing, two to Amazon skills, 10 cast, 20 strength, huge rolls to all resistances. And the coolest thing here too, is it has teleport charges. I could see this being used on a PVM Amazon. Really cool, but hard to tell if this thing would sell or, or who would buy it. This is an interesting item to talk about here because it looks really cool at first glance, but there's one little thing that absolutely destroys your hopes and dreams about this helm. First and foremost, it's a 230 20 two open socket Amazon helm. That's just nuts. And it is very nice that this helm rolled with 27%, almost a near perfect roll on enhanced damage. But the drawback to this is that it rolled with plus eight to maximum damage. Whenever you have an item that rolls with enhanced damage and maximum damage, and that item is not a weapon, it actually creates a bug in the damage calculation where all of that enhanced damage now only applies to the minimum damage. If Blizzard fixes that bug though, holy shit, this might be the best Zaun Helm in D2R. If you've got an item that you think should be in the trophy room, join up in the Discord. You can find it on the About page of my YouTube channel. Jump into the Discord and show us what you got. I'll see you over there.